people have been asking me about the reading order of my books. And I'm talking about the Atlantis Grail series, the one that's best selling and popular. And, you know, that's the big one right now. Well, here it is. It's very simple. So let's get to it. The first book you're going to start with is Qualify. That is book one. And it happens to be free everywhere in digital format. Easy peasy. Grab your copy now so you can be on the same page. Book two is Compete. Book three is Win. Book four is Survive. That's the core series, the first four books of the Atlantis Grail series. Now, at this point, you're free to read the novellas. So start with Ace and Blue. That's the first novella. You want to always start with that one. And every, every other novella after that can be read. But first is Ace and Blue. Then we have Ace and Black or any other novella. Next up, the order of reading is the Atlantis Grail Superfan Extra series, which is a fan guide series. That's all it is. It's just different guides. They're not, not specifically stories, but they're like um, compendiums of information about the characters and the stories and the um, world building. So the first one in, in that series is called the Atlantis Grail Companion. Easy peasy. It has everything you can imagine. Maps, um, schematics, ships, lists, you know, all kinds of goodies and information and just kind of like, you know, secret stuff that is, may not have been clear in some other parts of the book series. So that's the, um, that's the, uh, first of our guides. The second guide is called People of the Atlantis Grail, which was just the most recently released book. People of the Atlantis Grail is a dram dramatis personae or a complete character list of every single character in the series. And we're talking about thousands. There are thousands of people in this huge, humongous series. Now, this list, this uh, book that contains the list is just for the original series. In other words, the Atlantis Grail, the core four book series. There is going to be other books. There, are, There's going to be a fifth book in the series, but you don't read it yet. Now you have to jump to the prequel series. The prequel series is another core four book series, and it starts with Eros, Dea, Nyctos, Ghost. And then after the fourth book, you're going to do a crazy little jump in time, and you're going to read the fifth book of, of the Atlantis Grail original series, which is the book of everything. Then, and only then, you're going to go back and you're going to read the fifth book in the prequel series, which is Starlight. Now, as you're doing all these jumping back and forths, you are going to be getting more novellas, more um, special um, fan guides of, it, of different types. For example, you're getting the Atlantean Zodiac, which is going to be a brand new system of uh, astrology based on the Atlantean sky, which is completely different from Earth. And you're going to get things like the Atlantis Grail cookbook, the uh, pilot schematics and ship instruction, uh, pilot uh, manual instructions. And there's going to be so much other fun stuff coming including the book that I am currently putting up on Patreon, and it's the Adult 18 Plus, NSFW. It's going to be a very five chili pepper hot level uh, book that's kind of an interim. It doesn't really belong in the series because it is very much not for young adults. <laughs> it is for grown-ups, And it's called Amrevet Days. That's the honeymoon of Gwen and Aeson. And this takes place like kind of like a 4.5 book in terms of order. So it, it happens after Survive. And then, then you get Amravet Days, which you have to be kind of older to read. And then you can jump in and read the other rest of the books in the, in the later, the later fifth book and then the prequel series. So that's just the reading order, but you are free to start anywhere as long as you begin with qualify and you know where you're getting into. <laughs> so people say, you know, some some series don't have a, a specific order. This one does. It's a big, single, long story. There are no cliffhangers. People say, oh, no, how can you do this? That means it's cliffhangers. Nope. There's a difference between the ending of a shorter arc, which is a single book, and a series cliffhanger, meaning, for example, think of Harry Potter. 
the big, big bad is getting the Voldemort bad guy, right, in the end. That's the whole th arc of the series. And, yes, it's not resolved until the seventh book. Same thing here. There's a certain story arc that's not resolved, but all the intermediate arcs are resolved, and you're getting satisfactory endings along the line. So that's that's the Atlantis Grail series in a nutshell. Quickly, listing that again. Qualify, compete, win, survive, ace and blue, ace and black, the Atlantis Grail companion, people of the Atlantis Grail, Eos, Dea, Nyctos, Ghost, the book of everything, Starlight. And that's the series. There will be other titles I have not mentioned before, but this is what you're looking for to read. Enjoy. This is a monumental series. It is like a Mobius strip that goes back in and uh, in and out of time. So you you're going to get a lot of books that are still not written yet. And you're going to go back and you're going to reread the original series with a completely new perspective. You wait and see when you get to it. You'll, you'll remember what I said. Enjoy.